。伸出双手就能触摸眼前松软的毛发，是你只保存。色广场，橘色夕阳，缓慢的日常像漩涡，一圈一圈地旋转，就像是谁看腻了一样，打乱了缓慢的脚步，你掉寂寞的世界里，以为早就习惯。默默地守在夜旁，抬头望向满天积云，散开成晴空万里，但这样都还比不过那天你曾经你望向我惊讶的表情。Someone is whispering in my dream. Hmm? Delicious. Five more pieces. What the hell? I can see pieces of golden, tasty salt and pepper chicken. And those fried basil's look so appetizing. Hmm. Five pieces of chicken. Man, I'm feeling hungry. More. Um. I realize there's a moist tongue licking my arm. Cold. Wait, wait a minute. And I wake up. I open my eyes and find the saliva on my arm. Okay, weird. Senpai! Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, morning, Leo. Senpai snatches my kilt and get, get, goes back to sleep, leaving me trembling in the cold spring morning breeze. Senpai! Aw, oh, damn. Good morning, Leo. Huh? Oh, good morning. I turn around and find the tiger staring at me. It reminds me of what happened last night. He stands before me, sun shining down on him through the window. I can't keep staring much longer, or it'll look weird. Leo, you wake up late today. Did you have a nice sleep with this guy? Nice? No, I mean, why did he ask? Of course, I can't say that I had a nice sleep with Senpai, but I can't stand the tiger's stare either. So I just get out of my bed. Good morning. Good. Good morning. I'll still feel a little bit awkward about all this. Um, well, you, um, <laughs> what's up, Leo? Nothing, but uh, I look these two cats up and down while they're staring beside my desk. My little room is now getting pretty crowded, I suppose. And Senpai is curled up under my kilt, his head poking out the end. This is all still very strange. Hmm, it's not- it's nothing strange to me, and you'll still get used to it soon. However, the only difference is I am not getting off my spot on Liao's bed today. <laughs> Someone's jealous! So the Guardian Tiger does care about this, but there's not much I can do since I already let Sampa use the bed. <laughs> oh, right, uh, what time is it? Help yourself. The tiger points to my mobile phone on the bedside table. It's already 10! I usually get up around 9! Uh, hmm... 10... 10... I have nothing to do before my afternoon class. School is nearby so I can set off half an hour before class begins. So what should I do now? Usually, I would just surf the net internet, but now... Speaking of that, I guess Senpai still needs something to eat. I'm pretty hungry right now, but I should probably wait until Senpai wakes up by himself. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I turn up my desktop as usual, get ready to load some social media, but then I get a strange feeling. They're watching me! <laughs> the tiger and leopard are standing right behind me, peeking at my screen furtively. <laughs> uh, excuse me? What are you two doing? Hmm? What? This is what I usually do. What? Watching everything I do on the- What? <laughs> Correct. Could you stop, please? It's making me uncomfortable. 
I'm comfortable? How so? I mean, I'm strange to be watched all the time. Strange? I do watch you all the time. Like I said, I know all files on your computer. Even then, it's a bit different when I actually know you're doing it. What's next? He's going to play some League of Legends now? <laughs> not that- not that that means I don't mind from before. Do they know my right to privacy? Granted, it's pretty strange to discuss right of privacy with gods. But how can- how can I relax while being watched? Sorry, but could you two just move away while I'm using my computer? <laughs> Fine. I just want to keep an eye on you. I'm not the only one living with you now. So you don't want others to know what you're doing? Or just don't feel right while being watched? Well... Both? Um, alright. I'll go get myself a book then. Okay! He goes and picks up a book for himself, but even after taking it, the book itself is still on the shelf. How do you do that? The spirit of the book he just get in like... <laughs> Never mind, it's not important to me. Meanwhile, the leopard just went away on his own by volition. Well, I'm, I'm finally free now, I think. I still can open some pages since they're still in the room, but it's my it's way better now. With nothing else to do, I spend my time on the internet until 12. He's so boring! <laughs> senpai! 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 It's time to get up! Mm, no, morning. What time is it? It's 12 already. Do you always have to get up this late? It's pretty normal for me. Hard to change. Oh, so that's how you waste your life away? He'll understand more later in college. <laughs> he doesn't really care, does he? People say the longer you're in college, the less effort you put into it. I thought it was just an ex exaggeration. Anyway, senpai, get up and have lunch. Otherwise, we're gonna miss class. Yeah, alright. Let me wash my face first. I change his voice again. Wait a minute. Senpai m What is this? Is this- is this me talking? Senpai minders out of the bed and goes to the bathroom. So Senpai, what's your plans for this afternoon? This afternoon? I'll just go to school with you. Senpai is barely unaudible uh, over the running water. So when do you finish your classes? Classes? I don't have any today. Then why are you coming to school with me? So I can stay with you, obviously. Liao is so lucky. <laughs> Wait, what? Come on, come on! When, when a couple moves, when a, when a couple moves in together, the least they should do is go to school together. Stop kidding me, senpai! This isn't some cheesy romance manga, you know. Senpai walks out from the bathroom, wiping his face dry with a towel. Yes, my towel. Well, take it easy. Anyway, I can I can I can't keep myself in your room all day long, and I I don't and I, and I don't have a key, so why don't we just go to school together? Eh? <laughs> he has a good point, but then why can't Senpai just go home? Senpai, I think it's better for you to go home. Moreover, you don't have any change of clothes with you right now. Right. So I plan to gra to grab whatever I need and bring it over here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's staying in Kijan. <laughs> Senpai, why are you insisting so hard on this? Like I said yesterday, I can't lose to these two, and to those two, so here's the deal. So here's the deal! Whatever. Be my guest. So, so what about lunch? Of course, uh, I'd love to dine with you, Liao. <laughs> Woo! I was just thinking about getting a sandwich. What? Come on, Liao! Don't just get a sandwich! There's no romantic atmosphere to that at all! Why are you insisting your mantis romance in this? <laughs> Why is that all you care about? I let out a deep sigh. <sighs> so, I'll just grab something to eat before class. If you want proper lunch, just go and get it. Get it now. I'll wait and keep the door for you, okay? Mm, I'd rather skip lunch if you don't eat with me. Come on, unlike the other two, you have a real body. You do, you do need to eat something. I'll just grab something as well then. I'm not too hungry since I just woke up. Okay, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, I'm totally fine. Senpai sits back on the mattress, pulls up the kilt to cover his legs, and starts to focus on his phone. Alright, now that's sorted. I walk over and get back to my desktop, and browse online until it's time for class. <sighs> They're gonna be the death of me. <laughs> Hey, hey, Leo! You should leave now. All right, right away. I close my, I close up my computer, then pick up my backpack, phone, and keys. 
It's time for me. It's time for me to go. I'm calling on you to look after the house while I'm gone, Guardian Tiger. Wait, wait, yo, I'll go with you. What? What? You mean you want to come to school, school with me? For what reason? To protect you. <laughs> to protect me? From who? Him? From Liao? From, from Senpai? Come on, it's school. I don't need any protection. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'll be worried if you go alone. There's no way I trust that kitten and the aborigine will, will definitely follow you as well. What would you call me a kitten? Wait, are you going to school with me, Mr. Leopard? Leopard silently nods in response. Shit. <laughs> so all of you guys are all coming to school with me. I look three cats up and down. They all turn to look at each other. Then they nodded together. Why? 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 I'm not going to let down the opportunity to go to school with you. Need to follow you. I have no reason to let these suspicious guys get close to you, so I'm definitely coming. <laughs> Why is my life so burdenful? Putting your reason aside, Garden Tiger, did you say that you can't be too far from the statue? Don't tell me I have to bring it. I'll be okay as long as I stick around the, clo around the close worshipper. It'd be shameful if I couldn't even protect my Jutong. Why didn't you just say that earlier? Like yesterday! Why no? What more secrets are you not telling me, Guardian Tiger? God, what kind of situation am I even in? No idea. Maybe it's karma. He is a god after all! What the hell? So I guess my karma's pretty crap then? If I can't even get some peace and quiet at school? Really? It's not bad to be around three beast men, but where's my freedom? Where's my right to privacy? Leo, you'll just need to get used to it. I've always gone with you. You just, just you just couldn't see me. Pretend I'm not there, perhaps. <laughs> I it's not that simple! How do you expect me to deal with these two? You don't see me. How? Kakibochi no jutsu? <laughs> I just want to go to class with Leo! I have right to go as, as, as an actual college student, you know? <laughs> Look at them! They're looking at me like they're so determined to do this! <laughs> That's not the point, Senpai! I can walk with you to school, and we can talk together, I can even do your class notes! I'll do whatever you want, Leo! <laughs> what am I going to do with them? What am I going to do with them? I can't deny his enthusiasm. How, how cunning of you. So I, I take that as a yes? <laughs> Give in to your inner desires. What? Alright, you can come if you want. I have nothing else better to do anyway. Just no funny stuff. Got it? I get my things and open the door. Letting the others out before locking it behind them. <laughs> What's going on? In our way, I go with Senpai and get some sandwiches and soy milk for lunch. Then we head off to class. Like he wanted, Senpai is with me in, in my class. God, it's more freshman, so he has no reason to be here. <laughs> but luckily, there's a lot of people here today, so he won't be noticed. I sit in my usual spot in the middle of the classroom while Senpai sits right next to me. And so do the, and so do the Tiger Leopard. Do they really need, to de need their own seats, though? <laughs> Where's the CGI?! Right now, the tiger looks calm and used to it, but the leopard is on edge. Ever since we got into the campus, he's been staring at almost everything. <laughs> is he also staring at the window too, like this? He didn't calm down after the after everyone took their seats either. How different is his hometown anyway? Although, I'm curious. He hasn't spoken a word, so I ignore him for now and get ready for class. Class begins, I start making notes while Senpai keeps playing with his phone. All goes as expected. Surprisingly, the leopard looks over to see what I'm writing. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a little weird being watched like this. However, him watching me while copying notes from the board is, so, is way better than when they were watching me browsing online. Yeah, at least you're just writing and not just... <laughs> hey, Aborigine! Stop disturbing Liao! Not disturbing. Then keep some distance. You're distracting him from his study, you know? Well, I'm fine actually, but it's a little distracting to have Big Cat's face right next to your book notebook. Hmm. 
Leopard moves his head away from a, from my desk. And you shouldn't just hang around here like a, like a peasant. Do you know how annoying you are? If you want to stay, stay! But if you keep disturbing others, you're just pathetic. Not disturbing. And God asked for trouble. I ask for trouble, you say? You're full of trouble yourself, breaking into other people's lives and not being aware of it. I don't mind if you insist on staying, but you can at least be considerate. Take a seat and keep yourself away from Liao as far as possible. And God's words, not listening. What? Are they seriously going to argue over this? I looked to Senpai, but he just took a glance over at the Tiger and Leopard, then he went back to his phone. Sen Senpai is not even helping! <laughs> right! I am a hand god, and hand god, <laughs> and I'm the protector of Liao. If you want Liao's help, you better listen to me. It's simply basic manners. Hand god, ask for trouble, not listening. Wow, I am asking for trouble. If you... Sh <laughs> Shut up! This is classroom, you two! Ooh. Oh, crap. This is like an anime. I just realized that I shouted that aloud in a classroom where no one else knows that what the hell is going on about. Expectedly, everyone in the room stares at me. Ooh. Sir, what are you going on about? No, it was nothing. I'm so sorry. I was just dreaming. I quietly tried to muster my defense. Don't doze off in my class. If you want to sleep, you shouldn't be in my class. This is your last chance, understood? Yes, understood. Damn it. I'm completely lost with my nose now. Those two cats. Leo, I'm so- Leo, I'm sorry. I'm not used to the- Abrigine, and I forgot you could hear us. But like I said before, others won't hear us. There may be many situations like this from now on. So you should get accustomed to it. Yeah, I realize that now. I just need some time to be accustomed to this. And you're in no place to criticize me. I feel ashamed and angry as I bury my face in my arms. <laughs> I can't even listen to the class at this point! The two troublemakers remained silent from, from then onwards. It doesn't help much as I could still feel the, the attention from everyone until class finished. I have no drag- I have to drag myself out of the class. At least Senpai reassures me with pat on the shoulder. You alright, Liao? That really could have gone better. Indeed, it really have. What the hell was I thinking? Sorry. Don't you even say that. It's alright. You don't have to. I just remember that I'm talking to nothing again. Thankfully, this time I'm walking in the corridor and it looks like I'm just talking to Senpai. Thank goodness, huh? <laughs> okay, let's continue! <laughs> Liao, why do you keep covering up for, for, his rever for this aubergine? Could you stop calling him a virgin? It's really not appropriate to these days. I made sure to speak quietly, pretending that I'm talking to Senpai. Here's here's no need to play the race card now. And he didn't really disturb me to begin with, so that don't just lay the blame on him. Firstly, he called me a Han god. Secondly, a virgin is a proper noun. It's not like I've been call, calling him a barbarian. It's not your words, it's your attitude. So you mean, I shouldn't hate him? Uh... Yes? I can't do that. Alright, alright, you're a guardian tiger from a high temple, but why be so strict? I mean, I am a Han god as well, but Likolao doesn't bother me. You are not nearly qualified to argue with me, you kitten! Hey! Don't call me kitten! <laughs> The life of being Liao! I leave them two alone and walk to my next class. I leave those two alone, Gidja. During the rest of the class, their arguing cools off and at last I can have some peace. Senpai's full attention is now on his phone, but my notes are severely lacking. Recognizing some people from the last class who took notice of me leaves the atmosphere heavy and my unease lasts till class is over. Just as soon as I step outside, Senpai comes around in front of me and blocks my way dramatically. Yo, let's go get dinner! We've already missed out our, our chance at lunch. Okay, what do you want? Hot pot! Senpai, aren't you forgetting that we still have the cl club practice tonight? Even when we have practice, we still have to eat, you know? We're in the dance club and it's not a great idea to dance on a full stomach. Exactly! 
I've done that before and it was a uh, it was painful. I get cramps on my stomach. For starters, a hot pot is too filling, and secondly, we wouldn't have the time to eat one. Sorry, Senpai, there's no way I'm dancing after eating that much food. Oh, it's such a great chance to dine with you, Leo! It's alright, we'll have a lot of chances. Why today? I just thought, mm, um, okay, you better keep your word. It's really alright, I will. How about we just head off to the cafeteria now? Yeah! I'm so scared of the choices that's gonna happen here. We move to the cafeteria and find a table of four. For four! It's kind of a waste even though it technically there's four of us. After after securing a table, Senpai and me went to the stalls. The leopard has never been to a cafeteria, so predictably he comes too. The tiger follows the leopard. He probably just wants to keep an eye on him. Our college doesn't have a big cafeteria. Bentos, noodles, rice dishes, snacks, hamburgers, and there's a drink bar. You can almost grab whatever you want. Since we don't have much time, I only ordered chicken thigh rice. Chicken thigh rice! <laughs> Sen Senpai gets himself a pork rib noodle with a massive drink. Pork rib noodle with a massive drink! <laughs> Senpai, are you really going to drink that much before practice? Um, I thought we only had dance reci recitation today. Right, we're not supposed to have full club practice today. There's only recitation for the show yesterday. It should be over in a couple of minutes. But you never know, so I'm uh, so I'm not about to stuff myself. When I try to argue up further with Senpai, the tiger comes around. Leo, what is that? The, ha the hamburger? It's just hamburger. You know, like meat, salad, two buns. There should be a picture over there on the menu. It seems like there's a lot of different meats available. Oh yeah, mostly pork or beef or chicken though. Well, you didn't even know what a hamburger is? What rock did you live under? I he lives. He lives in a statue! My worshippers don't use this as a sacrifice. Additionally speaking, he's right to not have seen one. Hmm, so I guess with your family, that means you won't have an had any before coming here too often. That's uh, alright, two then. These days, I do love hamburgers though. I, I even have egg burgers for breakfast all the time. Egg burger? So that's the same thing? Kinda, it's meat between two buns with a fried egg. Quite different to the pro to the picture over there. <laughs> what are you laughing at? So you've been able So you've been well acquainted with all this for a long time then, kitten? A long time ago? You mean before I occupied this body? Well, I'm not sure. I have all these memories after all, and I can't tell if those are his or mine. So maybe I don't so I didn't know it so maybe I didn't know before. I see. So why do you ask? N nothing. Simple curiosity. He must be blushing after this. <laughs> the old man definitely wants a hamburger. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh, he looks so cute going. <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> uh. So how about I get one for you and sacrifice to your statue? No, uh, it's fine. But Leo, can you eat anymore? Uh, me? Nah, I'm not hungry. So you're just going to throw all that away? What a waste! I thought the Guardian Tiger wanted to eat the hamburger though. It's not like I need to eat anything. Wow, Leo, and you call yourself a Jitong? Guardian Tiger here is a god. He doesn't literally eat things. What? No, wait. So what do you mean by he doesn't eat things? Uh, how should I explain? So when a god eats something, they just eat the chi within. Within, they don't actually eat any of the food itself. Basically, mortals won't see a difference. So, it's more like a sacrifice. Yeah. So when you buy a hamburger for the old man over here, he can all he can only enjoy the taste. You have to finish it anyway. Otherwise, we'll we'll just have to throw it away. Okay, so the chi you mentioned, is that, is that necessary for gods? It's necessary, but gods won't run, run short on chi as long as people worship them. Then why are you here?! <laughs> you're basically the priest for the old man, so you won't be hungry if you're here. I'm not that lucky since my fodegong, fodegong since doesn't have worshippers these days. Although, a god can maintain their power as long as a priest is present. It's better to have some sacrifices. Sacrifices are the best way to obtain chi and and attain people's belief. So I'm the priest. 
You put my statue on your shelf, don't you? You are also my worshipper, so your room could be considered my temple, and therefore you are my priest. What a cruddy temple. Shut up, you! So I've served Guardian Tiger in this way, but by that logic, I've done embarrassing things in the temple. Is that even okay? <laughs> that and I've never worshipped Guardian Tiger statue properly, not to mention sacrifices. I don't really like the family traditions, but now I feel like I've treated the Guardian Tiger unfairly because I ignored them. It's alright, I'm not really hungry. I just wanted to try. It just makes things more difficult. I never offered a sacrifice to the Guardian Tiger, and now he asks for that. So I just go get one. Okay, okay? It's fine, Liao. There's no need to waste it. That's right, you can't get it tomorrow and eat it as a dinner. And now that you can see this old man, you can just buy him whatever he wants. However, you know God will punish you if you if you waste food. Which God? Him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I pretty much decided on how not, now not now to buy the tiger whatever he wants. Is the guardian tiger my family? It's the least I can do for him after ignoring him for so long. Now that I think about it, maybe the leopard wants something to eat as well. I look around and find him staring at drink bar. Never, never mind. I go back to my dinner, finish my chicken thigh rice, return my my tray, and head off to club club with senpai. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Dance club has a space under the veranda veranda for its activities. The wall is covered in mirrors, so we just call it the mirror wall. I want a mirror wall. I don't have one here. My 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 aunt has one. And it's so beautiful. We find a corner to drop our things while the other clubmates stand around to talk and talk to each other. The tiger leans against a pillar, watching us from the other side of the crowd, and the leopard is checking out the mirror wall. Not sure if he's ever seen such a big mirror before. He must be shocked to be in our practice room after watching us last night. Usually, I would hang around with some of some other freshmen, but I just decided to keep an eye on Senpai. Granted, everyone looks so happy tonight after the great performance last night. Soon, the club leader arrives and gives us a rousing speech about the performance. Excitement is spread throughout the club, and I feel it too! I share this honor with my fellow club members. Our success and our failures are all felt as one. It's the arrangement our club shares together. What a good club! I'll miss it! Senpai, are you alright? You don't seem yourself. Have you got a cold? No! Why? Can't I be sentimental sometimes? I didn't mean it like that, but what's wrong? Has anything happened to you? Uh, I was talking as a guard. I was, talk I was talking as a guardian tiger because you know I have to leave school if you decide to go to Miaoli with me. Well, real, well, really, I have to leave anyway if you don't take my offer. That's right. You have to go back anyway. Yeah. Though after being in this body for so long, I started thinking being a human isn't that bad. It's such a lovely club. It's pretty rare, right? After all, based on my memories, well, that's not a good topic. <laughs> What kind of topic? It's not- it's nothing. So, talking about coming to Miaoli, what do you think about it at the moment? Uh, well... You all want me to help, but it's hard for me to take a, to make a decision. You can help us all- you can- you can help us all then! Yeah, you can help- you can help all of us then! Sorry. No way! Is that really impossible? They mentioned that rejuvenating my temple would take at most three years? Your guardian tiger wants you to go back home, but it doesn't even say when. You can do you can do that after helping me and the leopard, right? How long is it gonna take? Two years with you, then the leopard? Not to mention my military service? <laughs> Why should I waste my youth on those? Not to mention I'd have to quit the dance club, there's no way. So then couldn't you just help me? <laughs> it isn't that easy. I won't drop out for you, so do you want to wait until I graduate? If I choose to take two years off, I need to perform my military service before that. And then two years with you? That's probably the end of my dancing career as it is! I know, but seriously speaking, it's not easy to feed yourself by dancing anyway. Have you seen American performers today? Have you seen the Chinese acrobats? Have you seen dancers today? They can provide themselves now. There's so many opportunities this modern time. Especially if you're going to do dance tutorials on YouTube. Even I, even I, I mean, Yun Shu Chi, had never thought about taking up dancing as a career. Are you going to insist on this? But I can't just give up all the effort and lengths I've gone so gone to so far. 
Well, honestly, I've only been dancing for half a year. Bullshit! I've been working at it since high school! And my other options aren't much better. I've never liked being involved in religious matters. I came to Taipei because I didn't want to be con constrained by my family. And now you're asking me to just give up everything just because I have special talent? I, I know, it's not something you can decide in a day, but I want you to consider it. I've just been driven up the wall. I'm seeking your help because I really have no way out, have no way out. so just consider it, alright? I don't want to reject you, Senpai, but... Hey, Shuchi! Come around! Someone is calling Senpai. It's our club leader! Ah, right away! Senpai sets up immediately. It seems that they're going to have a meeting after all. Senpai is pretty important around here. He's the backbone of our club. The backbone? Who am I? The front bone? But that means the end of our conversation. I still ha and I still have, to have a lot to tell. When I get ready to move on, some of my buddies put me on the spot. Yo! Yeah! What's wrong with you and Chuji senpai What's wrong with us? What do you mean? You two seem pretty weird today. You came to practice together, then spend heaps of time talking to each other? So what? Are you dating him? What a bad boy. <laughs> what the hell? No, that's nonsense. We're not in that kind of relationship. So what is going on between you and you two then? We were just taking normal- we're just talking normally. Honestly, our conversation was serious, which I should say is pretty far from romantic. Suspicious! I didn't see you two being that close before. It's not like you two are inconspicuous. You see? People are staring at you! Really? Oh dear. <laughs> I look around to find a few guys from the Chu Chi Senpai Admirers Club staring at me. What the hell? We were just talking! Our club has a pretty chill atmosphere. Evi evident, event, evident, evidentially, it leads to people talking about this stuff. And now I've got myself into this big misunderstanding. Are all the clubs like that? Or just ours? <laughs> but I was just... So what were you doing before you arrived here together? We had... Dinner? <gasps> Whoa! And you said you weren't in a relationship? <laughs> There's no... There is no relationship! Just admit it, we're buddies, right? It's not that bad to be in love with Senpai, he's a great guy! Like I said, we were not! Even if you convince me, you can't convince the entire club, people want the truth! Alright, 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 Liao. Liao says there's nothing between them, would you just leave him alone? Another clubmate pats the shoulder of the person talking to me. Come on, you don't see risque things like this every day. You don't see a fight. You don't see a fight every day either. So shut up about it, or I'll beat you. <laughs> oh, thank you for that much, clubmate. Of course, he won't really beat up anybody, but those guys seem bored of teasing me anyway. Thank God. Thanks a lot, Jiao. 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 <laughs> what? Jiao. One thing I know about Jiao. Uh, even though you can find a thousand people on the street with his name, this guy is actually an, um, an Aboriginal Taiwanese, like the name suggests. You're welcome. Sometimes you just have to be taught, taught with them. Uh, sorry, sometimes you just have to be tough with them. Okay, well, I, um, uh, thanks? It's hard to deny since Senpai has been living with me after being occupied by that leopard cat. I tried to avoid Ji House, Jia House in eyes in embarrassment and noticed the leopard hanging around. Right, there's something I could ask Jia Hao. Jia Hao, are you a Rokai? The leopard reminds me that Jiahao helped helped us a lot in our performance with information under 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 Rokai traditions. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, what's up? Which tribe? Eh? What tribe? It's well, where's your hometown? Wotai? Is that what you want? What? What a coincidence! Uh, he's from the Wotai from Wotai! What? Coincidence? Ah, nothing, nothing. I can't just tell him there's a clouded leopard from Wotai who wants my help, but I really want to ask him something about it. How should I begin? It's alright, just that, um, are you familiar with Rokai traditions? Rokai traditions? Uh, I know about it. Uh, how can I help you? Do you know any, uh, do you know of any Rokai gods who are clouded leopards? Well, I'm afraid it's not my specialty. Hmm. Clouded leopards. Honestly, I have no idea. None at all? I don't know, or at least I can't tell you about any. Like I said, I don't know I don't know much about that stuff. 
but I have an aunt who teaches this stuff. I can I can ask her to for help. Really? Please ask her for me. I owed you one. You're welcome. I asking is no skin off my nose. Uh, afterwards, Ya Hao says goodbye to me and walks away. I look to find the leopard. Luckily, he's too busy watching the crowd to notice me asking about him. Or for that matter, how embarrassed I was. It's strange though, Ja Hao says there's no cluttered leopard gods in Rokai. But is that true? I mean, even with how reserved he is about it, he's actually on top of this stuff. I guess it could have just been him not remembering like he said. I'm starting to wonder if I should talk to the leopard about this. But I'm interrupted by Senpai coming back. Leo! Sorry for keeping you waiting! What's wrong? You seem un you seem unhappy. It's alright, I just, uh, well, people went, went to make fun of me and I just felt a bit, feel a bit, a little bit uh, embarrassed. Making fun of Liao? What about? It's, well, they think I'm too close to you, Senpai, and there's been a bunch of gossip about it. Oh, it's fine. Leave it, leave them to, leave them be, leave them be. I thought you said leave, leave them to me. <laughs> really? How can you say that? What does it matter? Are they going to hurt you? You never know. There's a lot of people pursuing you. I might get murdered one day. Come on. There's no need to worry. Even if they ask for trouble, I won't let them touch you one one little one single bit. But you can't always be there to protect me, protect me from them, you know. <gasps> okay, okay. Personal space, personal space. Right. So I'll just have to stay with Liao all the time. Ah, just gone. <laughs> Senpai, has this been your real intention all along? <laughs> winky, winky, winky. Stop messing around with me! Come on, the rumors won't disappear by themselves. And I can't just stay away from you just because there's some gossip. You know what your help means to me. So you, so just don't give a, give a shit about the rumors. I will protect you, Liao. No matter what happens, so don't worry. I don't think your words are very credible, Senpai. <laughs> I thought that you'd be at least you, at least deny that. I oh, sorry. I thought you I thought that you'd at least deny that. I don't really care. Like I said, I'll protect you, Leo, no matter if you trust me or not. Besides, you not you not trusting me means I'm being decept de deceptively cute, so it's fine. <sighs> what the hell? What's the point in that? <laughs> Senpai! Alright, alright, I have to go home and grab my stuff. There's nothing else scheduled for the club today, so you can go home early too. Eh, it's fine. Alright, there's no way I'm staying around with all the gossiping today. No, leaving together with Senpai is also a really bad idea. I'm going home, Leo! See you soon! <laughs> Uh, you're just making me embarrassed from everybody else! He said it loud enough to get people's attention! Exactly! Damn it, he did that on purpose! I can't stay around here for a second longer! So I grab the guardian tiger and the absent-minded clouded, clouded leopard and get out of the club as, as fast as possible and get home! Aw, oh, he looks so cute. <laughs> Phew, I am exhausted. I drop my back with my bed and I'm just about to throw myself into it. But I can't take a break just yet, there's still some things to do, so I head into the bathroom and prepare my shower. <sighs> After the shower, I simply tidy up my stuff, then I hear a knock at the door. You can tell it's Senpai. Leo, I'm home! Do you want a good, good uh, do you want a welcome home kiss too? I open the door and Senpai is there with a giant trolley suitcase. Where is he even going to put it? Senpai? You can't just come here with everything you have! Why do you think I have space for all this? So just let it be my personal closet? It will fit the corner over here, over there. You you just have to move your fol folding table out of the way. I can't believe you've already gone and measured it. It's all because I like you, Leo. What kind of response is that? Oh. However, I've already decided to give up. Senpai humming along to a cheery tone, Toon comes in and begins to make himself at home. Before I know, he's finished setting up his stuff and is off to the bathroom. <sighs> I'm so tired. Me too. <laughs> I fall on the bed and complain to myself. Leo, I'm not sure if I'm worrying too much, but you should watch out for that kitten. Hmm? What's wrong? 
I still don't trust him. There's no, there's no reason to trust such a so-called garden tiger who used to be a yo, yo guy. I can't, I can't pronounce that. Yao guy? So, so he's a garden tiger? I've never heard about a leopard cat, leopard, leopard cat garden tiger. Even if he's a genuine ta garden tiger, he must have been a leopard, leopard cat yao guy, who had been subdued by the local god of soil. But a yao guai is a yao guai. Keep that in mind. Hmm. What he did is pretty strange indeed, and I don't feel that great about what he did to Sh Shuchi Senpai. I mean, now he pretends that he is Shuchi Senpai? Then what about the real y Yan Shuchi? On top of that, people think we're in a relationship. I'm starting to feel sorry for, for Yan Shuchi. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I just need to sleep after today's drama. I don't really care about who's sleeping with me. To avoid the fight, I pull up my kilt and close my eyes. Senpai will probably get the light for me eventually. Everything that's happened, everything I could do, and the things I didn't do, they all weigh on my mind as I fell asleep. <sighs> oh, he's so cute! <laughs>